This isn't even open. So this, it still has like the paper wrap on it. Hey all, it's Taylor, and I just picked up this 13-inch MacBook Air from Best Buy. I got it open box in the good condition, which is the middle of the road condition. This has the Apple M2 processor. It has 256 gigs of storage and 16 gigs of unified RAM. So it is Apple intelligence ready. I'm really curious if I got a good deal on this or not. I paid $717 for this and I did no research prior, so I have no idea if I wasted my money or not. It is in the midnight blue color, so I'm half expecting it to be covered in fingerprints, but it is less than a month old. I looked up the original purchase date of this and it was November of 2024. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this unboxed and get this set up. I'm so excited. If you're excited, let's go ahead and get started. Quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. I purchased this MacBook Air with my own money. So if you wanna support the channel, like the video and hit that subscribe button. All right, time to open it up. Okay, interesting. There is fingerprints on the lid. It is a little dirty. There is some dirt on the Apple logo and then there's like a smudge on the Apple logo. It normally comes on the paper that you can easily pull this out, but the paper is not here. So I'm gonna have to try to do this very carefully. There we go. Okay, <laughs> I'm just getting more fingerprints on this. Okay, oh my gosh, this thing is so thin. I really wanted a smaller laptop and holy crap, this thing is super thin. Look at that. That is way thinner than my 16 inch and way smaller. The ports do not look like they have any scratches on them. What do we got over here? We got a headphone jack and what's the bottom look like? Okay, the feet have some of that little dirt on them, so this has definitely been used on someone's desk, moving it around. And as far as the bottom, just a little bit of dirt and fingerprints. There does not appear to be any dents. There is a braided color matching cable. Now, what kind of charger do we have here? It, wow, this, this isn't even open. So this, it still has like the paper wrap on it. So I guess they had a, another charger. That thing is tiny. Oh my goodness, like, okay. For reference, I have my 1600 uh, watt charger right next to me. Look at that size difference. That is insane. The screen was completely undamaged. It just had a lot of fingerprints and a lot of dirt on it. I just took a cloth and wiped it off. There's absolutely no damage at all. The first thing I wanted to do was check how many power cycles this laptop had. And when I went into the power settings, it had three cycles. This is literally a brand new laptop. After updating the air and changing some essential settings, I wanted to go ahead and boot up Resident Evil 4 to see what gaming was like. And looks like it's holding firm at 40, between 40 and 45 frames per second. That is legitimately pretty cool. Oh gosh, this guy's tagging me. At 1920 by 1080, this resolution on this screen looks very nice. No complaints there. And yeah, this frame rate is not bad. And if you're watching this and asking yourself, is that HDR? It is. This monitor actually supports HDR10, which is very rare for LCD panels, but the Air has it. I next downloaded WebStorm to try out some coding on the Air, and it looks like it downloads and installs packages very quickly. Text on the editor is actually going to be quite small, and you're not going to see very many lines because the screen is 13 inches. I freaking love this keyboard. There is zero compromises when it comes to the Air and the keyboard. It feels exactly the same as my M1 Mac 16 inch laptop and it just sounds awesome. The speed of this internal 256 gig drive is a little disappointing with reads and writes coming in under 2000 megabytes per second. As for the storage capacity itself, with everything that's installed now, including developer tools, Lightroom, and Resident Evil 4, sitting at 134 gigs. My biggest disappointment with the Air by far is the omission of an SD card slot. I need to use a dongle. Scrubbing through the photos is very fast and the LCD screen is very nice to edit photos on. It is a very high quality display. For video editing, the 13 inch display limits my workflow a bit compared to the 16 inch. 
the Final Cut interface is pretty tiny on this 13 inch screen. One thing is not tiny is the export speed on this M2 because I am here exporting this eight minute and 30 second video clip that I did on my standing desk and it renders the whole video in five minutes. No way. Oh my gosh, this is scrubbing it perfectly. The two Thunderbolt ports on the left really do come in clutch because it means I can connect my dock, which means I can connect my Thunderbolt display. So I can use this dock just as I can my 16 inch MacBook Pro. That's freaking awesome. I now want to determine if I got ripped off with this MacBook Air, so I'm gonna go over to the Apple refurbished store and see if I can find a similar spec to Air for less. So here's a refurbished eight core 749 that's cheaper than what I had, eight gigs of unified memory though. So that is not a better deal. Let me go ahead and filter by RAM. Oh gosh, the cheapest M2 Air that they have is $1,200. It does have a terabyte of storage though, whereas mine has 256 gigs of storage. Let's see what eBay has to offer. 16 gigs of RAM. There's not many options. I'm going to sort by newly listed. And okay, here's one, my exact spec for 779. Okay, so that is not a better deal. I paid 717 for mine, so that one is more expensive. And actually all of these look more expensive. Yeah, so in terms of listings on eBay, I got a pretty good deal. What is this one? This was 690, eight gigs of RAM. Ooh, okay, so yeah, this looks like the most comparable one and I'm beating it by quite a bit. I went in with pretty low expectations for this used Air that I got from Best Buy in good condition. But let me tell you, I have come out very, very pleased with this laptop. This thing is awesome. This thing is way more powerful than I thought it would be. And I love the form factor. So I'm very excited to keep using this device. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Post-production Taylor here. Do you want to know how long it took to export this video, which is seven minutes and 15 seconds long. Four minutes and 16 seconds on an M2 Air. And this video project is no joke. Let me... Okay, this is the timeline, which just scrubs <laughs> like it's nothing. And there is blurs, there's mask, there is noise reduction, all in this video. And the footage is 10-bit, 422, H.265 coming out of my Sony camera. And the M2 Air is just handling it like it's nothing. Like, what? What? Do you want to see a comparison of what it's like against the M1 Max? Let me know in the comments below.